Hey YouTube Universe, thank you for stopping by here at Comic Burma. This is going to be an interesting episode where I'll be talking about the Gospel and the Grateful Dead. So stay tuned. Welcome back. So I'm coming to you from this obscure location. I wanted to start off this video by thanking Randall Weaver. Um, thank you so much, Randy. Um, so Randy had um, an BC anniversary, uh, I believe a couple months back. and. I had not seen his anniversary video, which he ended up showing pretty much every Grateful Dead box set and compilation that has been released. Really enjoyed that video. I ended up making a comment on Randy's video. The comments I made in his video is that I was hoping to see some Grateful Dead tapes. He mentioned to me that he had been um, get, getting rid of some of his tapes and he's kept some of the tapes. So he messaged me and reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in some tapes and I was very grateful and I uh, and I said sure if you like uh, to send them my way um, you know I can record them and send them right back. Long story short Randy was so nice to go ahead and send me some BCLT, uh, BCLT package of some tapes. Um, it came with a beautiful note here. Uh, which he explained the recordings um, and he said he was on one of the shows which is the only tape I've listened to so far so let me go ahead and show you the tapes the first tape is uh, labeled 2877 uh, set 2 I'm not sure if you can make that out see that there this includes uh, Little Light, starts off the set and ends with The Golden Road. He also sent me a set from 92172 Part 2 and it starts off with His Gone and the B-side has Dark Star and Do. So here is Grateful Dead Tape. He also sent me, um, I believe there was a fundraiser marathon of the Grateful Dead in the 90s and he recorded um, tapes from that fundraiser. And the, the next one here is a beauty. Um, I had seen these online and this is kind of like a, a tape custom label and you can see the little logos all around and here's the set and I'm so grateful to uh, to have this Randy thank you so much for sending it my way I have to listen to this this is from the Mardi Gras Oakland Coliseum show at 223.93 set 2 and I believe Randy said he was at this show and Ornette Coleman jazz musician opened up the show and I believe ended up playing the set with the Grateful Dead. I never knew that Ornette Coleman played with them. So that was a history lesson on its own. Um, this is the tape that I have listened to so far. It's amazing. Uh, thank you so much, Randy, for sending these my way. I'm so grateful. So the last month, I've been really diving into learning more about the Grateful Dead. Watched a couple documentaries, watched some footage listen to some of their studio albums. I started off listening to their shows from the 60s and early 70s. I sampled the Cornell, famous Cornell show. And I've also been reading uh, a good amount of some Grateful Dead stuff. Um, here is a book by Jerry Garcia of his artwork. The lighting here is a little not great but here is some um, some great compilation of his arts with some dialogues articles um, I also started reading the Grateful Dead annotated lyrics um, 
So I looked up some of my favorite De Grateful Dead songs so far and it kind of gave you um, kind of like a little history of the song. When was uh, the song first played and what show? And it kind of gives you um, background references on parts of the lyrics. Now another cool book is this book by Jerry Garcia, uh, written and the art is also by him. Cat. So this one is really cool. Um, if you are a Grateful Dead fan and if you have not read this, definitely encourage you to pick it up. It's a great, great book. So one of the things I found out about the Grateful Dead is that the Grateful Dead perf performed gospel songs. So that really interested me and I've been diving into a lot of the songs that they covered. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to share three of my favorite songs so far, gospel songs that they covered. But I also wanted to share a little bit about um, this book where Jerry kind of talks about how he grew up in, um, how he grew up Catholic and how he would go to church. He shares a little bit of how, what church he went to and the influence of the church that his family had. Um, so here's a little quote from Jerry's book. When I lived at 87 Harrington Street, the neighborhood church was Corpus Christi, Body of Christ, located one block northeast of Harrington Street and occupying about one half block of an area. It was when we first moved there, a typical wooden frame, sort of classic little old church in the lane come, here's the church, here's the people, open the doors, etc., etc. kind of deal. A little quote from um, this page here. It says, My family, being mostly Irish Spanish, was nominally Catholic. That is, the kids go to church on Sundays and holy days like Ash Wednesday. All rites and sacraments, baptisms, communions, confirmations, weddings, and funerals were held under auspices of Mother Church. On the next page, uh, he talks a little bit about, a bit about Mass. The Excelsior district of San Francisco was ethnically mostly Italian and Irish. My family was pretty much Spanish-Irish, a stricken combination of Catholicism's weirder interpretations. Luckily, my mother's side of the family had an iconoclastic approach, probably the union stuff, to religion. So the we kids were giving our collection money and spruced up on Sunday morning and sent to the 8 o'clock mass and, of course, catechism. For non-Catholics, this stuff was an impenetrable, bramble, bizarre dogma, perfectly calculated to encase a seven-year-old intellect in moral concrete. So I thought that was really interesting, him talking about the church in his book. Um, I'm also currently reading a book called The Gospel and the Grateful Dead, which kind of just influenced me to dive into the Grateful Dead catalog. So that book is really interesting because the author talks about how the music of the Grateful Dead evoked an ethos of offering that characterizes Christian music through themes of devotion, beauty, and participation. Um, so he, he kind of explains how the Grateful Dead expressed a system of values that echoes the wisdom of the Christian gospel. So I really been enjoying that book and looking at his perspective of the Grateful Dead music was on to continue presenting um, the ethos of community uh, based on the themes of sharing, resistance, and love, which was kind of part of the, also the hippie movement. So it's been a really good book. If you're kind of interested in the gospel and the Grateful Dead, um, it kind of puts the two together and gives you a, a brand new, whole new perspective that you've probably never ever heard before. In this video, I'm gonna share three of some some great gospel songs that the Grateful Dead covered. Um, I've also been um, noticing that Jerry Garcia with his Jerry Garcia band actually did a lot more gospel cuts. Um, but for purposes of this video, I'll share three songs from the 70s that the Grateful Dead performed. The first one from May 1st, 1970. It was an acoustic set that they were doing in the 70s. Um, they performed A Voice From On High here it is, check out this show. I hear a voice calling. It must be, I must be, it must be, I 
our Lord, it's coming from heaven no high. I hear a voice calling, and he me won't The song I'm going to share is the song Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. And they performed this song on August 5th. 1970 and that's a very important date because it's actually my wedding anniversary so from 1970 august 5th here is swing low switch chariot live at the golden hall community concourse check it out this video one of my favorite Grateful Dead songs so far the song Cold Jordan and I'm um, uh, this performance from Alfred College in Alfred New York check it out oh sinner as you tread a life's journey take Jesus as your daily guide oh you make it pure and safe So thank you so much guys for tuning in to a, this very grateful video. Very grateful to Randy. Thank you so much for this awesome, amazing BCLT. I greatly appreciate it, Randy. And it's a, a blessing to me since my birthday is next week. So I take this as a beautiful birthday gift from you. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you guys, all the new subscribers. Thank you so much. Looking forward to getting to know you. I'll be doing another video part two of some other gospel songs that the Grateful Dead performed. God bless you and I'll see you on the next one. Now look at that cold oh, Jordan. Look at it deep water. Look at that wide, wide river. Oh, see the mighty billows roll. You better take it. Jesus with you. He's a true companion. Oh, I'm sure, sure without him. Thank you very much.